In this video, I want to give you an overview of all the changes that I have added to the harmonic predictor in version 1.4. So we'll talk about some custom alert messages, configurable error tolerance per each leg, and a possibility to ignore some of the predictions. You can find a full list of the changes in the changelog under the script on TradingView. So let's start by adding the script to the chart. As always, we go to the indicators and here we can search for harmonic predictor. So now that we have it, let's search for some instrument that actually has some prediction. Let's maybe go for crypto. And here we can see we have a Bitcoin uh, with two predictions. One is for the deep crap and the other one is for Cypher. Let's start with a custom alert messages. So if we want to add alert, we can right click on the chart and select add alert. Oh, and something doesn't work. Come on. Okay, this is broken. Let's try to refresh. And now we have it. For some reason, this option was not, not available, but after you refresh it a couple of times, it seems to be working. So for the condition, we select harmonic predictor. And here we have two options. If you select any alert function call, you will get the same alerts as before. But now we have the second option called alert with custom message. And if you select this, you will have a, quite a few more options here. So we can select if you want to have alert only once or maybe once per bar, once per closed bar or once per minute. Here we can change the alert name that will be displayed in the list of alerts. So if you want to have an easy way to distinguish this alert from the other ones, you can type something here. And here is the message. So by default, each alert will have a message saying new harmonic prediction found. But for example, if you are using some bots for trading and you want to, you need to have some very specific message saying like the token for your bot or some query parameters and so on, this is where you can change this value. So for most of you, it's probably not very useful feature, but if you are using some webhooks and you're programmatically trading on some signals, this is where you can change what message will be sent to your webhook. Don't worry if you don't don't worry if you don't understand those terms. This is quite advanced thing. Next, we can set the error tolerance for each leg. So, let's try to find an instrument with just one prediction. Okay, this one will work. So let's say we have the cipher down. If we go to the options, you can see that we have the error tolerance of 5%, but we can also set the error tolerance specific for each leg. So for example, if we want to increase the error tolerance for the leg XAB, 
we need to enable this option and we can say, okay, Lex XAB can be 10%, but everything else should stay at 5%. And now we can see we have much more patterns found because the error tolerance for this one leg is much higher. Of course, it doesn't really make sense to increase this value, but it might make sense to decrease this value in some case. So let's say that you want to keep the error tolerance of 5% of for all the legs, but you want to keep the prediction very strict. So in this case, you would enable a custom error tolerance for XAD and you would decrease this value to, let's say, 2%. And that way you can see that this rectangle is shrinking. Well, not this one because this is Cypher and Cypher is using XCD leg, but the other one was moving. We can do the same thing with Cypher. So we have 5%. We can increase that. So this custom error tolerance per leg is useful when you have your own preferred settings for each of the patterns. Okay, let's disable this. And as you can see, we also have the price move by percent displayed for each of the predictions. So this will tell you quickly what's the expected price move. And as you can see here, we have some very ridiculous prediction that is on minus. I don't know, this, this looks like some kind of a bug. But let's focus on this one now. So here you can see that we have a prediction of that price will raise by 71% from the current price. And that's, that kind of makes sense in this situation. But if we go back to Bitcoin, you can see that, uh, let me reset this, okay. Uh, let's disable all the predictions so, and keep only one of them. So I can see there is deep crap. So let's disable everything else. Okay. So now, as you can see, we have a prediction that the price will move by 44%. And if you don't think this is a good prediction, you can disable it by setting some strict limitations on this value. So let's say if the prediction is above 20%, we don't want to get it. Or if it's above 50%, we don't want to see it. So here it's 44%. You can see if we say it's above 45, we want to see it. 44 works. But if the prediction is above 43%, we don't want to get this prediction. When would you use it? Well, quite often if you have some predictions for like complete price crash, so if the price will drop for 90%, it's very unlikely that this will happen. So you might want to disable this prediction. Otherwise, if you're only interested in like a bigger price movement, you can disable that you don't want to see predictions that are lower than 10%. So if we had a prediction for, let's say, 5% price movement, now this would be ignored. So let's say you, you are only interested in the price going to the moon or crashing completely. You can set this to 50%. And now you will get predictions only when the price will move by at least 30%, uh, at least 50%. And this applies to price going up or going down. So you can further refine it by disabling patterns. So let's say you want to only get predictions when the price will go up. So you select this option and you want to get predictions where the price goes up by at least 50%. So you put 50 here. Let's go back to the previous value. 
So as you can see here, we are displaying the price movement in percentage, as I already mentioned. And last but not least, you can see that default value of the zigzag patterns depth is now 20. Before it was 10, so don't be surprised that uh, you get less zigzag patterns detected, but they are more global, let's say. So you don't pick like small price, price movements, you will pick the more significant one. As always, if you have any questions or if you find any bugs, you can always send us an email. You can contact us through our website. Thanks for watching.